Steve Howard's rampant discretion to move species makes it so that the actual true species phylogeny is only shown in a relatively small portion of the genome. And importantly for me, hybridization can make new species. So it can be hybrid speciation. Uh, this can occur in two ways. Uh, in allotetrapoids, where the genomes are not reduced, so they're in the genome doubling. And also in homozoic hybrid speciation, where there's not a genome doubling. Thank you. 
similar uh, genomic compositions. Uh, we have two possible explanations. Uh, one is more recent gene flow, so that I can homogenize them, and we currently rule that out. Uh, but another option is that they are actually the product of the same hybrid mutation event. So there was one hybrid mutation event in the past, and then subsequent mutations separate them. And to get uh, to look at that, I look for uh, alleles that are unique in one of the hybrid species or one of the other hybrid species that are not found in the parent. And I see that there are a lot of alleles, a very high number of alleles, that are unique to the hybrid and are shared between the anomalies and the reticula. And there's relatively little uh, allele sharing paradoxical. And this is supportive of an idea that uh, the anomalies and the reticula might have shared a common